All right, what's going on, YouTube? This is Boxing Wave. Um, Listen, the fight went exactly how I thought it was going to go, okay? I didn't expect Pavekin to get a stoppage, but I did think he was going to win this fight. Fury, good jabs, good movement, and stuff like that. He's tricky. He's going to give you a little trouble. But at the end of the day, he doesn't know how to take it to another level, you know? And uh, the commentators here uh, were saying that pretty much the entire time. Um... He just doesn't know how to take it to the next level, you know, and you're not going to win fights just shooting some jabs, landing a few jabs and stuff and moving around or fight long and tying up. You're not going to do it, you know. Uh, where were the power shots? You know, there was one point where when Pavekka started to slow down kind of early, too, I thought that Fury was going to start throwing more right hands. And he started to, but then... The momentum went right back to Pavekin. You know, Pavekin was on and off. I mean, he's an older guy, so he has to fight at spurts. You know, he's not going to come at you. This is not Pavekin against Carlos Tackham, you know, or Mike Perez. This is not, this is, we're way past that time. Okay, so I wasn't expecting a better Pavekin. You know, this is what he can do at this point in his career, at this stage in his career. Uh, I wanted him to fight because. I mean, I wanted him to win the fight because I, th I think there's still some potential good fights that could be made. You know, I would like to see Pavekin maybe fight uh, a Chisor or a Parker. Uh, I definitely want to see him fight Luis Ortiz. You know, if Luis Ortiz is not um, able to beat Deontay Wilder, I would love to see the Luis Ortiz fight, you know. Um, so I, Pavekin, he won the fight. He did what he had to do. Uh, once he started really connecting with the right hands and timing them right, um, it was a wrap, you know. Uh, salute to Fury because he did take the shots. He did take some right hands, some really clean right hands. Um, but at the end of the day, he doesn't have anything to beat the elite heavyweights. You know, the elite heavyweights, the top tier heavyweights that he's fought. The Pavekians, the Pulevs, the Parkers. He'll beat, like, the you know, below average or, you know, the average heavyweight guys who beat some of them, but he won't beat these elite top 10 type of heavyweights. He's not going to do it. Um, one thing is, though, he is only 24 years old, so he has many, many years to improve, uh, but he has to change something up. You know, this is, you know, I know a lot of guys are like talking about firing trainers because guys like Yard, Joshua recently lost their first fight. But Huey is a guy that I feel that it's time to move on and go to a different trainer because he definitely has talent. He has good defense. He moves well. He has a good jab. And he throws a lot of jabs. But it's time for someone to teach him how to really start timing and connecting some bigger shots. You know, because just like Ward was saying in the commentary, this is a fight that he should win at this point of Pavekin's career. And I agree with him. You know, Pavekin is still really, really good, really, really experienced um, for so many, many good fighters. Um, and he's just a better boxer. But at this age, when he's slowing down that early in the fight, Fury had the height, the reach, the movement, you know, which all of them do over Pavekin. Most of the time, Pavekin is fighting taller fighters like this, so he knows how to fight them. But... Pavekin has lost a step, and I feel like if Fury was just able to, you know, sit down more on some of his punches, time things right, get a little together, get, you you have your opponent has to respect you, and these guys don't because Fury is just trying to tie up. He doesn't really have an inside game like that, you know. Um, I think Pavekin's only main issue, which always annoys me, is that when fighters tie up with him, he's so relaxed, you know, and he doesn't protect himself up top. You can see when he's tying up with someone and he's separating himself, his guard is down, and he get he got caught by a few uh, clean shots by Fury um, when they were, you know, separating. And it kind of kept annoying me because those were actually some of the hardest shots that Fury landed in this fight. All right. So um, he's always been that way. He was like that with Klitschko. And that's why he lost that fight. Every time, you know, he would lean uh, on 
on Pavekin or tie up with Pavekin. Pavekin kind of just allow it, and he's just like, all right, you know, whatever. He's so real. He's like really, really relaxed. But um, I still want to see Pavekin get into a mix with some of those guys I just named. And Fury, I think it maybe it's time for him, for him to change camps and move on or something. And he needs some kind of change. All right. Um, but as you can see, the Luke Campbell Lomachenko fight is about to begin. So I will do a post fight review after that fight is over. But um, call the man. It was a simple fight to call. Fury needs to switch it up some way because he needs to. He's way too young, and he's at an age now where he can change and and and, and learn some new tricks. Cause something needs to change. Something needs to change, man. I mean, he's just giving fights away at this point, you know. All right, so uh, let me know what you guys think. Make you make sure you like the video. Make sure you drop your comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you after this fight is over.